Hello and welcome to a series of video tutorials on how to create a white labelled Merlin Tickets website. This will be done using Merlin's online site builder. This can be undertaken by anyone and you do not need any form of website design technical knowledge. I will be taking you through step by step on how to fill in site builder form and what happens next. Introduction to Merlin's online admin area dashboard. That's where the fun really starts. No technical knowledge is needed. Then various videos will follow as I explore some of the powerful free features that you will have access to. I will also be guiding you through these from start to finish such as creating a collection, an event with different types of tickets and sessions and many many more features. Finally remember if I am going too fast for you, you have the option to pause or rewind this video. Also we are a friendly bunch of guys at Berlin and we welcome you to contact us. This can be done via the phone, email or using our social media sites. We have Facebook, Twitter and YouTube which are actively monitored. So let's get started. First you will need to open up the Merlin Tickets website. You can see at the top of the address bar it is www.merlintickets.co.uk and this will take you to the Merlin Tickets website. At the top of the page you will see the Merlin's navigation bar. Feel free to pause this video and have a look around. Once you are ready, click the site builder link. This is taking you to the form which is needed to set up your free online ticketing website. The red boxes means that this is a required input box and must be filled in. You must also enter the required type of data. But we'll go through this together. First name. You can see the box has turned green so that means it likes this type of data. In the first two boxes you should only use letters. So first name, surname. Next you will need to enter your email address. This is very important that you get this email address correct as when you click the submit button at the bottom of the form it will generate an email and send it to that address giving you all the details on how to log on. So check it and then you need to confirm again. Right, I'm going to make a mistake here just to show you that it should error check it and pull up a mistake and not let us advance. Contact number. These are just numbers. You can't put anything else in this type of box and as you can see it has to be at least 11 digits. Now 
password again this is very important you, you'll need this password to log on to your admin area once you've created the site and again there'll be uh, an error check to make sure the password is matching this box is already green so it means that it's not a required input but you can put your current web address so you've got uh, your website that is I don't know a museum and you're going to link to your ticket events that's where you'd put your museum website address so if you've got a, a website you put your address in there but it's not required so I'm not going to do it your site this is the name of what your site will be called so uh, let's add an S Kent's Ticket the website will be called Kent's Ticket dot mailing tickets dot co dot uk that will be your web address site email email tickets are sent I'm just going to put the same email address that I put above. And then you cannot progress any further until you have ticked this box. And you are ticking to say that you have read the terms and conditions. If you want to see the terms and conditions, which you really should just click it and it will open into our terms and conditions area simple as that so it's ticked so when you create the ticketing site I'm hoping it pulls an error there Many ticket says those emails do not match okay and if your password didn't match you would get a warning after we've changed this but hopefully now everything should go through okay and passwords don't match see even I do typos and yeah they look different so let me start again And there we go. Now, I get a lot of questions saying uh, from clients once they get to this point. Uh, when's my site going to be created? Your site is actual, actually already created now. Your site is live. You'll have uh, a generated email sent through to you the, to that email address that you put in and it'll give you all the details. But trust me, that site is live I'm waiting for you to uh, experiment with it. The site is housed on our private servers. They are fully secure and they are monitored 24 seven by me and another person. Now let's take a look at the generated email. First, you have the Merlin's Nice Welcome with a logon to your account button. I'm just going to leave this for a minute and we'll come back to it and talk about it in a while. The next section deals with the Stripe Info. To activate your account, you'll need to set up a Stripe account. This can easily be done by clicking set up stripe button as you can see it opens a new window to the stripe website and all you do is start by clicking start now and it will take you through step by step 
on how to set up an account. The third part is used for setting up your first event. Again, there is a button to click which will take you through to our mailing Zen help desk. Here you can read how to create an event, add tickets and select session dates. But don't worry too much about this. I'm going to cover this in a future video. Also, if we just click into mailing support, you can see there's lots of information to use various features on mailing. And if you want to go to us social media sites, there is links below to click. So let's click in login account. So this is a login area of the dashboard. Enter the email that we set up. And then you'll need to enter the password that you signed up with. and we click sign in. And finally this is the dashboard of mailing tickets online. I'm not going to go any further now, I'm going to leave it at this point and we will continue in the next video. Remember, Merlin is here to help if you have any questions or need any help. If you have found this video helpful, then please hit that like button. And we will continue next time looking at this dashboard. Thank you for watching.